Here is a quick tutorial on how you can create this picture in picture for a church broadcast or any presentation. Let's start by creating the scenes. I'll leave this one here and then I'll add a camera feed to it. Let's add a video capture device. I'll call this camera feed one. I'll be using my smartphone camera, which is connected using this Irem camera. I have a video on how you can add this. So click OK. So I'll add another scene. This one, I'll call it Scripture. Then I'll add a video capture device. Call this one Easy Worship. So it's connected to the system that we have Easy Worship installed. So I'll be adding the USB video and then OK. So this feed is coming from a different laptop that has Easy Worship. So I'll add the third scene and call this PIP. Then let me add the final scene. I'll call this camera 2. I'll add the same camera I added in the first scene. I'll show you why I'm doing this. Just call this camera feed 2. Add the real camera. Then let me come back to the PIP. Let's add a background. And I'll select a background image. Let's select this one and click OK. Then Ctrl or Command F to make it full screen. I'll adjust it. Next, let's add the frame. I'll add another image. I'll call this frame. I'll select PIP frame. I'll add a link to this in the description in case you want to make use of it. And then click OK. So next, we'll be adding our camera scene. So add a scene and select the first camera and then we add it. So from here, we bring it under the frame and you resize it. Resize it this way. If you're using it for a church production, it's best to put it in the middle because your shot will always have to be centered. But for the sake of this, I will adjust mine to this point and then I'll add a filter to it. I'll be adding a crop filter. Okay. So because mine is not in the middle, I'll have to offset it from the left. I'll add 670 from here and then I'll add 270 from here. So it would have been 470 by 470 depending on the size of your screen. I'll close this and then I'll reposition. Now let's add the next scene which is our scripture put it under the frame and then you resize this one you don't have to crop this one so you resize so the last thing we'll add is a logo call this logo you add the logo let me select this one click ok so depending on how you want to do your own design you can position your logo in any corner of the screen so you can put it down or up and then if you have 
another graphics you want to add you can put it on the opposite side of the logo so now we have our pip set up so we can go live so you see why i have to create a different camera scene the effect i added on this scene affected the scene here as well so that's why i added a different camera source you can have a full screen of the speaker you can also have the full screen of the scripture or whatever you are trying to present and then you can have the picture in picture this way from here if you make any change from your easy worship it will also reflect here immediately so with this you can either stream record or use a virtual camera for zoom or google meet presentation in another video i'll show you how you can add lyrics and lower third on your video if you found this video helpful consider subscribing and liking the video if you have any other question please do well to leave it down in the comment section below